What's up everybody? Today we're going to make this brush and tool holder. It's made out of red oak and it has two shallow compartments and one larger compartment for bigger brushes and tools alike. Let's do it. So I'm showing something a little different in this video. I'm working in Procreate here on the iPad. Um, if you're not a digital artist, you're probably not into Procreate much or, or an artist in general. But uh, I definitely like using Procreate. I use it in my paintings as well to kind of move things around and change lighting effects. But I've really started using it in my building because it's really forgiving, really easy to move things around. So here you just see my process, see how I'm changing things up, and get a cut list set up and get things ready to roll for the next step. Based on my cut list from Procreate, I'm just getting everything together, cutting everything that I can, getting everything super close to size. You'll see later on in the build, we'll actually trim things off to make them nice and even, nice and flush. But uh, we're just getting really close here. Here are all the pieces cut, labeled, and ready for the glue up. Now when I put this together to dry fit it, I noticed that it was a little wide. If you look at uh, one of our part B's on our right side there, you can see it's hanging out just a little bit too much. So what I did is I came back to the table saw, trimmed part C off just a little bit, and was able to get it nice and flush and ready for the glue up. Next, I marked out the internal cross section so that I would know where to glue and I'm going to add some pin nails uh, in a step here coming up as well. So I got it all marked up, added some glue, and then began clamping the one side into place. Here you can see I'm adding glue and some pin nails to the internal parts of the brush holder. Uh, I just did this because they won't show, it'll make for quicker construction, and I can move on to the next steps much faster. Once everything is glued up and nailed together, it's time to clamp everything up and let it set up and dry. Before we start gluing the front on, I take it over to the drum sander and give it a quick sanding. It'll make everything nice and flush before we put that front piece on. From there, I'll take it on over to the table saw where I trim the front off just to get everything super crisp before we start the rest of the glue up. Next, we add glue to the front side, clamp it up, and let it sit and dry for about 30 to 45 minutes before moving on. Once the glue is set, it's time to sand. I start at 150, go up to 180, and finally end at 220. After that, I'll go back over to the table saw with it, where I cut a 10 degree bevel on the front of it because I do want a slight angle on the top of my holder. Once everything is trimmed to the size we want, I start gluing on my back. You can see mine has a 45 degree bevel on each side because I'm actually going to use a cell phone holder to hold it to my easel. I use a combination square to make sure it's even, just clamp it up and let it set. Once the back is set, it's time to glue on the top. You'll see here I marked out the clean areas and the areas that I need to drill through and then eventually route to get everything nice and lined up. I'll start by gluing up and then using a Forstner bit to drill through the markings that I made. So 
So apparently my recording of my routing process didn't record. So now we're moving on to the last step. Here I'm using some spray shellac to just seal everything up and bring out that red oak. Really makes it pop and look beautiful. All right, everybody, here's our finished holder with some uh, paintbrushes and some palette knives, toothbrush, and other things that I use when I paint. I really appreciate you guys checking out this build, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed already, please feel free to do so. If you got time, please check out my website, KenCarano.com, and find me on Instagram at KenCarano. Thanks a lot, guys. See you next time.